Hey everyone, thanks for tuning into our series, Designing for Injection Molding. My name is Constantine, and in each episode of this series, I'll be discussing a different design feature encountered when making parts for injection molding. Today I'll be talking about undercuts, what they are, and how to deal with them. I'll be going into Fusion 360 and optimizing a part with an undercut for injection molding. But first, download our free guide to injection molding at the link below. So, what is an undercut? An undercut is a feature that can make it difficult for a part to be ejected from the mold. So here, we've 3D printed two examples of a part with an undercut and without an undercut. You can see in this one, when it comes time to eject the part from the mold, it simply comes out without any issue. However, with the part in the undercut, it cannot be removed because this material is obstructing it when it comes time to be removed. There are four main ways to avoid undercuts while designing your parts for injection molding. Using shutoffs, moving the parting line, using bump offs, and using sliding side actions and cores. Let's start with shutoffs. Shutoffs are a useful trick to deal with undercuts on internal regions of the part for snap fits or on the sides of the part for holes or handles. A shutoff is a piece of metal sticking out from the core side of the mold to produce an overhang without a side action. It produces the underside of the cantilever or hook. Essentially, the material is removed in the area under the undercut, eliminating the issue altogether. Next, we'll talk about moving the parting line. The simplest way to deal with an undercut is to move the parting line of the mold to intersect it with the part feature. This solution is suitable for many designs with undercuts on an external surface. But don't forget to adjust your draft angles accordingly. Now we'll talk about stripping undercuts or bump offs. Bump offs can be used when the feature is flexible enough to deform over the mold during injection. Undercuts can only be used under the following conditions. The stripping undercut must be located away from stiffening features, such as corners and ribs. The undercut must have a lead angle of 30 to 45 degrees. The injection molded part must have space and must be flexible enough to expand and deform. It's best to avoid stripping undercuts in parts made from fiber reinforced plastics. However, softer plastics are okay. And finally, we'll talk about sliding side actions and cores. These are used when it's not possible to design around an undercut. Side action cores are inserts that slide into the mold as it closes and slide out of the mold before it opens. Keep in mind that these mechanisms add cost and complexity to the mold. When designing side actions, remember this. There needs to be space for the core to move in and out. This means that the feature must be on the other side of the part. The side actions must move perpendicularly. Now let's head on over into Fusion 360 and do some remodeling. So, here we have an injection molded design that has a snap fit feature containing an undercut. Shown over here. We would traditionally require an expensive side action to realize this feature. However, to avoid these sort of expensive complications, we can simply create an access for a shutoff insert right underneath the cantilever. For that, we would need to make a cutout by sketching on the bottom face of the part. Let's use the projection of the bottom face of the lip. This projection will serve us to identify the midpoint for our cutout as we take the edge as a reference. Then, we extend it further out where the center of the opening would be. Now that we have a center point, we make a rectangle. For this design, we will use an opening of 16 by 6 millimeters making sure that the projection of the lip is within the opening. Now we select both profiles and we extrude it all the way to the bottom face, making a cutout. At this point, you can already visualize what the shutoff will roughly look like. The final step is to add draft angles to the opening. We do this by firstly selecting the pull direction, which can be any horizontal surface. Next, we select the faces that we just made with the extrusion command. As you can see, it is already at 1.5 degrees, which is appropriate, but the direction of the taper is reversed, so let's make a negative.
That looks much better. And there we are, a more elegant solution to an undercut. Well, that was it for our design episode on undercuts. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something new. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any other content. See you in the next episode.